Finally, we discussed human rights and the need for political reform. As always, as I always do, I made clear that the topic was vitally important to me and to the United States. With respect to the murder of Khashoggi, I raised it at the top of the meeting, making it clear what I thought of it at the time and what I think of it now. And it was exactly — I was straightforward and direct in discussing it. I made my view crystal clear. I said very straightforwardly, for an American president to be silent on an issue of human rights is this consistent with — inconsistent with who we are and who I am. I'll always stand up for our values. He basically said that he, uh, he — he was not personally responsible for it. I, I indicated I thought he was. He said he was not personally responsible for it, and he took action against those who were responsible. And, uh, and we uh, — then I went on to talk more about how that uh, dealing with uh, any op uh, opposition to the — or criticism of the Saudi administration uh, in other countries was viewed as, to me, a violation of human rights. Mr. No sir, President, sir, two quick questions, if I may. First, we just heard from Jamal Khashoggi's wife, who said, after this visit, the blood of MBS's next victim is on your hands. What do you say to Mrs. Khashoggi? I'm sorry she feels that way. I was straightforward back then. I was straightforward today. What I — this is a meeting, not — I didn't come here to meet with the Crown Prince. I came here to meet with the GCC and nine nations to deal with the security and, and uh, the needs of, of the free world, and particularly the United States, and not leave a vacuum here, which was happening as it has in other parts of the world. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.